Hi everyone, welcome to another Creative Suite online tutorial. In this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to create the handwriting effect or the handwritten effect in Adobe Flash CS6. So one might ask themselves what is the handwriting effect? Well the handwriting effect is the effect of having text created as if it was being handwritten on the canvas page. So what I have in front of me is an example of this. If I hit control and enter you'll see the following effect in action. And basically this is what we are going to try and create in this video tutorial. So I'll close that. I'll go to File, New, Action Script 3.0 and I'll have the background color as white. The first thing I'll do is I'll change the canvas page to 170%. I'll then go to my text tool I'll change the fill color or the color to this orangey type color. You can have it as whatever color as you want. Um, I should point out though, the more fancier your text is, the more elaborate your font, um, the more difficult it will be to apply the written technique or apply this writing method. So for this tutorial, I've selected Zernik as my font, which I downloaded off the internet. So, I'll go ahead and create the font. I'll type in honeycomb. Just like that. And I'll place that within the center of the canvas page. Just like that. I will now select the entire text or honeycomb. I'll then right click and select break apart. This will break apart each letter away from each other like so. I'll then right click and select break apart again. So I'll do that two times. Once I've done that, I'll go to the eraser tool. I'll select the fill color as white because my background is white. And for the eraser shape, I'll select this smaller circles like that just like that and now I'm gonna want to uh, take note of my shortcut key for my enter keyframe uh, for my shortcut key or my shortcut key for my enter keyframe is control plus one um, for PC users I think the default is F6 or control F6 but for some reason on my computer it doesn't work so I've changed it to control F1 sorry control 1 so I'll hit control 1 and that will create a new keyframe now with the eraser tool I will just erase a small section of that letter B in that keyframe I'll then hit control 1 again to enter a new keyframe and then I will erase another small section of the letter B hit control 1 again to enter a new keyframe Erase a small section of the letter B. Again, hitting Control-1 to enter keyframe. And erasing a small section of letter B. Um, you're going to want to do this for all of the letters. If you noticed, I'm going backwards. And the reason for that is once we've had all of our frames or keyframes set up, I will select all of them, right-click and reverse the keyframe. But for now, just concentrate on creating a new keyframe and selecting a small section um, of the letter to be erased. Uh, so just like that. So I'll keep doing that. As you can see, it's kind of repetitive, but it's very easy to do. So keep entering a keyframe, and within that keyframe, just keep erasing small sections of that letter. Remember starting from the back, or the opposite side. Now for the M, you'd think I'd go that way. 
but if you were to write an M the ordinary way, we would start from the top to the bottom, then move from the left to the right. So I'll start from the bottom over here. Control F, Control One, then start erasing. And you're gonna do you're gonna want to do that for each of the letters. So I'll quit the video now to save us some time and I'll finish that off. Once you've done that, you should have a blank canvas page and a hell of a lot of keyframes. The amount of keyframes uh, depends on how big or small the erased sections of your letters were. So let's say you had like, you know, basically a big se section taken out. Well, that would only account for one keyframe, you know. So basically your keyframes or the number of your keyframes depends on how big or small your erased sections were. So keep that in mind. So once we've done that, if I hit control and enter, you'll see that it animates backwards or it's the opposite. And that's what we want. We want the um, frame or we want the effect to animate backwards. So I'll close that. Once you've seen that effect, I'll click on the last frame. And I will hold down Control and Shift. And then I'll select all the frames up until number one. Once I've done that, I'll right click on the first frame and I'll select reverse frames. What you should have now is on your first frame you should have a blank screen and on your last keyframe you should have your text. And that's basically it. That's basically how you uh, create the written or writing effect in Adobe Flash CS6. Um, I, I've said this two times in the video, it is time consuming and repetitive, but it, it does give out that nice effect. If I do hit control and enter, we'll see our finished product. As you can see, it, it's starting from the left to the right now. And you can do this with any sort of font. Um, but the fancier the font is, the more difficult it is to create this effect. And there you have it, that's how you create the writing or written effect in Adobe Flash CS6. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my videos. Comments in the comments section. And again, thanks for watching.